The Urban Development Corporation, in association with the Jamaica Information Service, presents Urban School. What once stood as three ancient structures dating as far back as 1911 is now in its morphing stage. And at the end, this will be the result. The newly refurbished Simon Bolivar Cultural Center. Nestled in the heart of Parade in downtown Kingston, Jamaica, this building, when completed, will complement the architectural landscape of its surroundings. These include the Ward Theatre, Coke Methodist Church and Liberty Hall, the restored headquarters of national hero Marcus Mazaya Gave. As the Urban Development Corporation, UDC, continues its thrust to make development happen, it has collaborated with the Jamaica Defence Force to refurbish the centre, and the progress being made to date is encouraging. Welcome to the Simon Boulevard Cultural Center uh, construction site. We're going to take you on a tour of the project as it's under construction. Currently, um, we are in the process of cleaning the building in preparation of the finishes. For example, we are completing the screening and the leveling of the floors in preparation for laying the floor tiles. As well as after that, we will do the, the drywall framing installation because most of these walls will be clad in drywall. And the ceiling framing will also go up. So we are preparing for the, the finishes phase of the construction. With the demolition of the existing wood and brick structures, the new design calls for an incorporation of the old and the new. When the building is completed, uh, what the visitor will see is a building that has evolved from the old architecture using the material that was prominent in Kingston, the clay bricks. So the lower level, as you can see from the, the walls, we have the brick wall, we'll have a metal um, grill around the building that will depict the old architecture. But from the old, the building turns, uh, it, uh, grows from the old into a new structure using the reinforced concrete. So it's a transition or an evolution from the old to the new. The rehabilitation process required major reinforcement and so the building was fitted with structural columns as well as supporting beams in the roof. We have actually completed the substructure and the superstructure which is uh, the columns and the roof framing. There is a special feature um, that we will be uh, installing, that's the cladding of the roof as well as the louver panels that will um, go between the columns on the veranda and that will add the special feature to the building. The louvers um, will enhance the, the cooling of the building, allow um, vent natural ventilation to circulate through the building, as well as the skylights, the clear story windows that we have in this room uh, will allow natural light to enter. Again, uh, reducing the energy consumption of the building uh, and will give a nice natural ambience um, in the exhibition spaces. Another very important feature of this three-story building is the signature sculpture of Simon Bolivar. The 16-foot signature piece will brand the building in honor of the South American Liberator. At the front of the building, we'll have a sculpture done by one of Jamaica's famous um, artists or sculptors. It will depict Simon Bolivar on the horse and it will be located on this wall, which will be very prominent from a uh, parade. Well, it's a linear representation of Bolivar and his horse, uh, playing with the, essentially a 16-foot drawing, um, like, you know, in a kind of visual sense. It's made out of steel, welded steel, um, and finished with a pigmented resin um, coating. But the idea was just to kind of play with the lines and the textures and the movement. The Simon Bolivar Cultural Center is expected to attract thousands of people, from curious onlookers to researchers and tourists. 
So with this in mind, the building will provide access to the disabled via a ramp from Church Street around to the main entrance. Meetings and special activities by the community in addition to private functions will occupy the three multi-purpose rooms with one located on each floor. Both the library and the administrative office are located on the first floor, while on the third floor... The interpretation room, which is one of the museums for the Simon Boulevard Cultural Center, and the adjoining room is the Salon de Boulevard or the Simon Boulevard Hall. And this will be the main museum area um, showing exhibits uh, from the life of uh, Simon Boulevard. The interpretation room will have interactive exhibits for the Simon Boulevard, um, from the Simon Boulevard era. And um, the adjoining room will house special artifacts that will be collected and, and exhibited in that room. Thanks to the Venezuelan government, the Simon Bolivar Cultural Center is being refurbished in an attempt to honor this great man and to further memorialize him and his contribution. On completion, the center will provide exhibit space to commemorate his stay in Jamaica and to build on the concept of cultural enlightenment that is a part of the Bolivarian legacy. Already, 65% of the construction work has been completed, with only a few outstanding interior and exterior finishes. Now, the interior finishes consist of the floor, finished floor tiles, the wall finish, the wall treatment, and also the ceiling framing and ceiling finish. The external uh, finishes uh, consist of the louver elements that will go between the columns, as well as the cladding of the roof. There's a special cladding that depicts the, the new um, the modern elements of uh, the architectural elements in, in relation to, to the, the clay bricks that are um, on the, the first floor. Other finishes include the paving of the rear of the building and car park, painting of the building, the installation of fittings for restrooms and kitchenette, as well as the installation of windows and doors. The Urban Development Corporation has, over the years, contributed significantly to the development of many of Jamaica's cultural facilities that continue to keep our culture alive. This has been made possible with the kind help of the Venezuelan government. For further information on any project being carried out by the UDC, you may contact them by calling 922-83104 or visit their website at www.udcja.com or their information center on the ground floor, Kingston Mall, downtown Kingston. Urban School was brought to you by the Urban Development Corporation in association with the Jamaica Information Service.